Hi, Steven Scott from Banner Engineering. Terms like resolution, minimum object detection size, are all terms that come up when we're dealing with specking in or looking at specifications on light curtains. Steve, during your time as an application engineer at Banner Engineering, fielding calls from our customers coming into the factory, what are some of the most frequently asked questions that you've received over the years uh, that you've had to answer? Good, thank you. I've got a few that I've got right here. One of them is an understanding of what resolution means. We hear terms of 14 millimeter, 25 millimeter, whatever. And the question comes up, is that the same thing as beam to beam spacing between beams? And the answer is no, it's a little bit more than that. Resolution is actually the effective beam plus it's going to be the beam spacing. So in this way, you make sure that if you're going to be protected here, we want to make sure you're protected no matter where your obstruction is. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples here of a go position versus a stop condition and what that really shows. For example, this is where we have the uh, blockage is actually equal to or as great as the resolution factor. And notice that there's no point at all when I go up and down here that the actual output turns on and turns off as I go between beams because it is meeting that resolution which is always going to have at least one beam but also a portion of the next beam in play here. This is a situation where now it's not going to be able to work because the size of that blockage is actually less than the resolution measurement. So we get that type of an effect where if I put my finger in here, notice that, uh, well, I've got a, there you go. If it's going in between beams, you may get the output to suddenly turn on and off. So that's basically what it means by resolution. It's big enough to basically, basically take up two beams. Uh, another question, why do safety light curtains seem to be so difficult to align? I've always got to mess around and takes a while to finally get the things dialed in. In fact, opposed pair normal photoelectrics, they're very, very easy in comparison. So what's the deal there? Well, it all comes down to the standards defining uh, something called EAA, effective angle, uh, effective aperture angle, excuse me. What that EAA is, is actually something that's going to be needed so that in case there's any type of reflective area behind the light curtain, we need to make sure that there's not any gain that actually bounces off of that reflection and actually serves as a way where we can't even be uh, seen if we stick our hand through there. Uh, this two and a half degree from center is something that is required under this uh, international standard, IEC 61496, to meet that type four requirement. In the past, these things really didn't have that requirement yet. And so like 25 years ago, you had so much gain coming out that that could actually occur where it's blasting off of some reflective surface and it wouldn't even detect that your finger's going in the middle. So that change had to take place. What makes type twos so that you really can't qualify them for some serious injuries or serious uh, high risk? Well, the fact that type twos are a little bit different than type four in this uh, type of uh, examples right here, the lensing is such that it's not two and a half degrees from center, but as much as five degrees. So it allows for a lot more uh, of a pattern coming out of each one of these beams. But also, it has no redundancy. It has two outputs so that you can easily connect it up to typical type of uh, interface modules and things like that. But internally, only one circuit. So it really is not meeting any type of control reliability or anything that requires those two circuits internally. So more for the uh, lesser hazards, obviously. Why do we need to use a safety light curtain pair? Why can't I use uh, something that's a retroreflective type of a thing on the end? So I'm just shooting off of that mirror and coming back. Well, when we're looking at light curtains, we need to be able to monitor every single beam. So to get that individual beam detection, you cannot possibly get a mirror to match up to every single beam. However, there is something that is using a mirror, and that is our grids. Uh, this is one of our products that uh, actually has a, it's called the active passive uh, mode of grids where there's a transceiver on one side and it actually is going to bounce off of angled mirrors on the opposite stick. 
it takes no uh, power to uh, go to the other side of that conveyor. But here you see the type of activity where it bounces off, comes back in. It's actually a four beam grid, but produced by the fact that we're using two mirrors internally. Steve, so you talked a little bit about mirrors on these active passive light curtains. Mm -hmm. What's one of the drawbacks of using mirrors either in a setup like this or around cor corners to guard a work cell? That's a great question because typically if it is going to be used to the gain on these is very very high on these type of applications because at times you de do need to protect a very large area that might be two three sides well, those mirrors that are on the corner to now bounce the protection in a different direction, you're losing a lot of gain, Scott, uh, because of the fact that it's bouncing off of a mirror and you're just not going to have the same range that's typical when you're pointing an emitter at a receiver. So mirrors do drop down the gain. One more question. You mentioned type 4 versus type 2 light curtains, Steve. Yep. What can help us determine whether or not we need a type 4 light curtain or we can just use a type to light curtain in an application? Risk assessment is the big thing there. Uh, by doing a risk assessment and determining if somebody can get hurt hardy or bad enough to where they need some sort of emergency care or even some typical medical attention, that should not be reserved for a type two light curtain. Type two light curtains are gonna be for the minor bumps and things that pinch points where there really is nothing that requires medical attention. Again, if you have questions about uh, type 2, type 4 light curtains, or risk assessment, please contact Banner Engineering and the application team here will help assist you in those applications. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome.